So these are my beast of foam presses, which I've done a video previously on. And a lot of people know how to build them now, so I'm going to show you how to make that. So we got your vac table. This is a 16 by 16 inch piece of aluminum that is 0.65 inches thick. And then I have my HFS two-stage 12 CFM pump. Peek there. I got it off Amazon. It was like $240 or something like that. Thing is an absolute beast. It'll it's just it sucks. Alright, so we got my vacuum tubing. And we'll go underneath and we'll see just the fitting. I don't have an inline uh, filter on this one, not yet. Uh, I will at some point, but usually when I'm not using it, I put a piece of tape over the hole. Now, what I did is I drilled a three-quarter hole and then I tapped it for a, um, you know the, the fitting. And all I did is just run a 90 degree elbow to a half inch hose and then right back up. So pretty damn quick and easy. This setup, all said and done to my door, built with all the parts, including the tools to do it, was 100 and I think it was $11, $108 in that area. So just over a hundred bucks to do that. And uh, you got yourself a pretty flat, straight, nice cold piece of metal to, uh, to, to work on. And then that, like I said, was about 240. Um, so you can use whatever one you want, but that right there is my setup. And then for cool down, what I do is I have, actually, right there, I have an 80 gallon snap-on tank. And I have it plumbed over here into a T. And then so when it, when I get everything down, I just blow it and it cools it down and bam, I go ahead and pop them out and do the next one. Got my heat press there. And then these guys, this is the most recent one I did. It's a flashlight magazine holder. So again, pretty quick and easy. Got this all nine, 16 inches by 16 inches and it's 0.65 uh, thick. And um, yeah, like I said, $100, $110 to, uh, to build it, and you're absolutely golden. I'll include some videos of it pressing as well. Have a good one.